tools I'll show you how, uh, the DIY injection small toolings that I made us in during this several during the past several years and totally there are 11 toolings and the longest one is or the largest one is this one uh, you can see it's around 8 inch by 4 4 or 4 inch 9 inch by 4 inch and the smaller ones is this one is you can see less than my hand and all these two rings are made of aluminum material and you, you have seen my CNC router machine is a small size S400 high reset CNC router machine I use Murphy and for the and the molding materials uh, there are two main plastic materials I used and this one you can see this one and this one this is the nylon nylon is and 13% glass fill material this is the engineering plastic material another one is this one this is the ABS material is in is a transparent step ABS material and the mouthful index or the the of these two material the mouthful index is the during when it softens the when the material plastic softens it, the the viscosity or the soling of the material for nylons every many people know is a uh, high flow material but for ABS is not high flow it's difficult to be filled and it needs high injection pressure and you can see the DIY injection two rings in other other videos on web or YouTube it, it made simple parts and use the PE materials or something that because the parts are simple so and not complicated and also the material polypropylene or polyethylene is an is a easy flow material so they can be molded easily but for for my injection two rings you can see later on there are many com complicated details of thin materials and also the ABS material so the requirements for the injection two rings and also the injection machine is high and for this glass fill material there is a glass fiber inside the, the materials the commos strength of the material is much stronger so I can use use this material to mold timing bell pulley you can see this is a timing bell pulley and in last video you, you have seen 
my injection booting machines uh, it can it it demonstrates that it can mold this material and this using this injection tooling but the the overall uh, operation is a little bit no no convenience in the using in the using now let me show you one by one first is this timing bell pulley this structure is much more easy to be understand by most of people and this teeth should be fit with a timing bell and it is not a complete part so I need another tooling to mold these ring pieces these circular pieces will be assembled on top of this so a complete timing pulley come out to locate the bell and you can see there is metal part in it, in, in it. it will come out from the mold at the same time so in the molding I need to put a metal piece this aluminium pushing here here and then close the mold and the material inject into the cavities and after cooling the disc take out and this is the chemo parts and because this is difficult to be ejected out you can see here this these two plates will be separated first this is the front half of the mold you can see these, these structures when first this upper and lower half open this parts still in the lower half first. and these two plates will be separate out so this will be easier to be ejected out because this vertical wall will stuck on the and these ribs will stuck on the core tiny when this core retracts then this will be easier to to loosen out from this plate so you can see here the core here come with this play and it will retract backward first after retractions the ejected play push this part out of course this is not a complete mold as you can refer my previous video there are uh, rectangular box here they are common parts of the mold I prepared set I don't remember is three types of this block they are commonly used for for my toolings and they are now assembly in this three tooling that I just made and they are not yet to be test in molding and just they are completed and not yet test and no not no test part came out yet and the spur is here material go here and you can see there are four gate point here 
I lose I haven't included the spur here I lose the so you can you can see it. you can see the ejector pin here around this and also inside there are some ejector pin this this structure is this similar but the core of this here stuck the more tiny also so you can see the core pin here is attached to the to the ejector plate and it will push full push up here Of course, it also needs some cover to be a complete box. So I need this cover here, these circular pieces to assemble on 